Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to episode 12 of season 2 of Oshinokoi. Alrighty, I am so sorry. I wanted to get this out Wednesday, but um, I was tired um, due to work. And then, of course, as I said, you know, psh, hurricane just finally got the power on like about an hour or two ago. So I'm playing catch up. And then, of course, we're doing the start of like fall and rain. So oh yes and duty but other than that it's going to get started in three two one go now for the last couple of days i have been avoiding shit like the plague because since i didn't watch it on wednesday i was like <laughs> no i can't see shit so thank god you know what i forgot to get give me a second Oh, we're just starting. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the third wheel, baby. Right? So don't be mad, but no, I get it, Kana. I get it. I get it. You was like, I was gonna have this moment with him. Confess to him. Right, damn girl. <laughs> oh. 
Hold on. What about May? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> It's getting more real. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You see that smile? That's the perfect smile. Right? Oh, Okay, let's go. No, no, he, he's he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Remembrance. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, so it's really important. Oh, oh my God! Look at my babies. Now, if they do what I think they're going to do with this, it's going to, like, what if they show the one scene where it's, like, him and I walking down? Bruh. My thing is, and still even now, 15 years later, nobody went out looking for this mofo. Yeah, they're walking down there. What are you gonna do? Stumble upon his body? 
He is not about to stumble upon his previous. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a possibility. Right? Like, I don't even think clothes would still even be there either. Oh, I mean. No, never. No, at least you two got to hang out together. It was a cute little date. His house. Mm. You know, there are people out there like that even now. She's so pretty, though. Hella creepy. I like that, though. As someone who likes horror shit. But, oof, girl.
Okay. Girl, being like, uh, this is what we just want the best for you. Do it like this, like, oof. oh, honey. Aqua, I swear to God! Right? We don't want to cause any trouble. No. Ah! Huh? Yeah, really. Y'all really had to do kind of like that. Oh my. Do you, do you really want to hurt me? Oh my god. No, no, I, I think the crow is leading you somewhere, and I think I know exactly where it's leading you to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, girl, because you technically fall in love with your brother at the hospital in your other life. Okay, then why don't you try it out? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, he he's older. Oh, baby, you about to get the harshest reality right now. Right? Right. Here come that harsh reality. want that to end like that. Did, did you see the light? The star in her eye die out. Her whole reason of living, the only other reason of living is now gone and she's Yeah, this was a damn good episode up until the last couple of minutes. Did you have to do that? Did you have to break her heart? I mean, yeah, we had to. We had no other freaking choice. I get that. Oh, honey, if you only knew that the man you in love with is your damn brother now, like, how is that gonna go when the shit, the, we, we about to have some, mm-hmm. It's about to be Winces for this show. Oh my god. I don't even know what else to say about this. Like, it's too much. It, you just still end the episode like that. And no! Oh my heart. And then, okay, here's, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So when this episode aired Wednesday, and if I had had this out on Wednesday, I'd have been like, <laughs> I'll see you guys next Wednesday for the finale. No! I will see you guys the following Sunday um, for the finale and such. But no, 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 no. You had to do that, not only to her, but also to me. Y'all just ripped that ish out like it, like it was she, like you, you know, okay. Y'all was sugaring. That's what y'all was doing. The sugar wax strips. Y'all was like, all right, y'all ready for the pain? Yeah, 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 we're gonna grace, line it, mm-hmm, go against the grain, all right, let's go ahead, smack down, and then rip that thing to shreds, oh, God, like, I fall for her, shit, oh, God. Okay. I'll, 
I'm going to say, here's the good thing I'm going to say about this. Because th still, regardless, this was a good episode. That ending was good. The other good thing about this was, I love the fact that we got to see just the two points for Aqua and Ruby. Ruby, I mean, no, we'll really start with Aqua. Aqua going back to the hospital, you know, asking about himself and stuff. Learning a little bit more about his past because... His former life, like, it's very mysterious in a nutshell that we didn't know. And so, fact, finally, we're getting more context clues. I hate the fact that he didn't have the best relationship with his grandfather because, of course, as he said, um, his mother died while he was giving birth to him. And so, okay, of course, you have a, a, a former parent of a deceased person um, basically saying to the offspring, like, you should have been the one who should have been and not her. If it wasn't for you, she would have still been here and such. And that is a lot of... damaging depression to put on one person and such. And so I get it where he felt very guilty and such and being like, okay, this is what I want to do career-wise and such. And to prevent any other person to have that same situation as me. And we got into a situation, aka Ruby, where he still couldn't have her parents come to be there for her last moment. And it, it's truly sad. And these are the things that a lot of people don't really think about if you work in a hospital setting. As someone who has a mother who works in a hospital setting and she we don't see the side we always see like kind of the good side we never really see the bad side sometimes where nine out of ten for certain patients um family members will never come to see them sometimes nine out of ten they're they're there by themselves and they are d word alone and they're not with anyone they're just alone and, and it's really hurtful and sad and such you always want to be with your loved ones for their final moments because you don't you don't want to end it with no regrets um and such so always please never leave with regrets always tell your friends your families anyone who you care about that you love them that you'll see them next time you care for them and such because you never really know what the heck is going to happen especially in today's age always call mm -hmm. But no, this is a really good episode. Damn good episode. Did not think it was going to end like that. My girl is going to go through the biggest depression going into fucking season three. Because god damn, like... I, I mean, I, I hate to say this. We all thought Aqua was bad. Ruby about to be worse. I mean, we've already seen her go a little teeny tiny bit into the dark Ruby moment. But... Girl might be batshit nuts going into next week's finale. I don't really know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode. This should be 12. Yeah. Episode 12 of season 2 of Oshino, uh, Oshino Koi. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys not tomorrow, but the following Sunday for the final episode of season two and of course the final thoughts of this whole season in general because we got a lot to talk about i mean good and bad and such and probably maybe my predictions for a because they haven't really said if it's going to get a season three i think they're gonna wait until we get into the final episode next week where they're going to confirm that it definitely is getting a season three but you know we gotta wait until then but until then i will see you guys all next time bye